uh, no, because I throughout the semester I talked to him that you find this ritual in this particular tradition, you find this ritual in this particular tradition, even though the rituals may be similar, it also may carry the same emotion with it, or it may not. Re Wilfred Cattrall Smith said there is no Buddhism, but there are Buddhists. There is no Christianity, but there are Christians. And, and I try to tell the students, it's not that all religions are alike, it's that religions are so diverse we have in America today close to 3,000 denominations of Christianity. So, what is Christianity? Religions all have their uniquenesses. They are they are similar in that they are all a product of a, of, a, of a human being's longing for identity and understanding and placement. We need to know our place. And that's what religion, so in that way, religions are all very much alike. They're also unique, and every religion has its unique aspect. I used to say, when I first started teaching world religions, that the nirvana of the Buddha and the heaven of Christians, it's the same thing. I don't say that anymore. How can I say that? I don't know. They may be very, very different. But what I can say is that the human heart is very similar and that we strive through the cultural upbringing and religious upbringing of our parents and of our community. And those are the, they give us methods for dealing with these issues. And those methods change from culture to culture. I think the beauty of religion is that it's at once old and new. A, s a movie that I show my students from time to time is uh, Fiddler on the Roof. I think the, the way that that movie deals with tradition and change is so wonderful. And the students can relate to it. And then we talk about that, about the importance of tradition and the importance of change. And to me, that's what religion does. Religion gives us a stability of tradition, but also provides us for the vehicle of change.